Let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Hey, Dave Frank from Cleveland. Been a minute, brother. Man, I'm at a loss for words this year, Dave. I don't know where to go from here. Then we take the play sheet out of Stefanski's hand. He's walking the sidelines over there like Vinny the Chin, wandering around like, what should I do? I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't let Rabo out of that building, Dave. And if I don't talk to you, you have a good Thanksgiving, you and the family, and be safe, brother. Be good now. I love you. It all of the voicemails. Um, you, Jeff, we, we've talked about it, uh, and I get it. Um, when, you, when you change coaches, you want different. Mike Vrabel is different from Kevin Stefanski. Different mentality, different approach. I don't know if it's right, but I, if you decide you need to get different, <laughs> something has to be different. Or, or it's more you know, kind of like you know, when the teacher loses in the classroom and you got to send in the vice principal or the principal. You know, Mike Vrabel's going to find reasons to get aggravated. He's going to find reasons to ride guys. And you know, look, you know, it's not totally out of the realm for guys in that locker room to realize the season is over. And you know, it's it, it's got to be tough. And it's certainly got to be tough, you know, coming off the season they had last year. And I think, you know, everybody in that room thought they were, they all thought they were going to go back out there and this was going to be a tremendous year again in the AFC North. And it just didn't happen. And it's, it's certainly frustrating as much as it's frustrating for fans and, you know, for us who try to comprehend this as we're covering it. And certainly, certainly for the fan base, because look, we're all not spending our hard earned money like some of these people are. So, you know, I feel for those people I do because, you know, how many years did they know and willingly hand over that money knowing there was nothing going to come from this team? So it's got to feel even worse when you're handing it over and, you know, you thought something was coming and then basically Lucy took the football away from you. Um, You know, I don't know what to do and I don't know exactly what the correct answers are. But again, you know, do you, you know, if Mike Rabel is this hot coaching commodity, He's got people who look out for him. And, you know, is his agent, is his PR people going to say, Mike, you're telling us out of all the people we've talking, spoken to, the team that went 2-15, and 15 is that's the job you want? Because, you know, this is job two. You know, you screw up job two, you know, there ain't no job three usually in the NFL. So, you know, for Mike, we'll see. You know, again, I, you know, I don't know what, what changes in the next seven weeks that influences the, this decision one way or the other. But, you know, to just say fire one and bring in the other, man, there are a lot of things, you know, that people just don't think about or dig into to try to come to a, you know, a real resolution and a real answer to. 